Hello everyone, my name is Danny Hughes. I have my bachelor's in information technology and today I will be talking about how to create a simple clock using C Sharp and Visual Studio. Okay, let's begin. Uh, open up Visual Studio 2005 or 2008 and create a project with uh, Windows Forms application and give it a, a name. I call mine my clock and once once you finish that it's going to bring you to the design stage and you should see form one and when you get there double click on the form and it's going to take you to the code behind the code behind page is where you place all, all of the C sharp code okay what you see here is two methods Public form one and private board form one load. And these two methods, uh, Visual Studio creates for you. And what this method here does, anything that you need initialize when the when the application is built, you want to place in here. Anything that you want displayed on the form when the application began, you want to place in here. In the form one load. So to change the title of the form, we're going to use a property called text. So, so we say text equal to text equal to simple clock. And whatever is whatever inside these quotations is going to be displayed as the title of the form. So you can put whatever you want in there. You can call it whatever you want. Okay, that's, that's all we're going to do for, the, for this method. Now, we're going to write some code into the form one method. And what we're going to do now is we're going to use some more properties to the, uh, give our form uh, a back color and some more fill to the to the form. So let's let's say back color equal system colors dot window. We want to say form color equal system colors dot window text. And these these properties are default uh, colors for Windows applications. Now we're going to focus on two two main classes to get our clock working. The first class is the timer class, and the second class is the uh, date time class. So what we what we're going to do now is we're going to create an instance of the timer class. So let's let's say timer equal timer and notice this so we can call this anything we want but you want to call it something that's similar or relative to what the class is. So we're gonna say timer equal new timer. I'm gonna reference all, all of the members in the timer class using Timer. So we're going to say timer dot tick plus equal. And what I just did here was create an, an event handle for the tick. So now that we got our event event handle going, let's let's set let's set the seconds. So we will say Timer dot interval equal one thousand. So we say timer dot start. Oops. Which is the start method actually enable the uh, the timer. Let's go down to our next method. Let me take that out. 
and we're gonna call an another method provided by the .NET platform, which is called in invalidate. And what this method does, it refreshes the screen every time a second is is, is uh, ticked. So let's uh, invalidate. And that's it for that. Okay, now what we did so far, <clears throat> we used properties to to give our back our background a color and fill. We create we created an instance of the timer class. Use some of use some of it properties, it, it, its methods, events, and we call that we call another method that's provided by the .NET platform. So now we're going to create our own method. To do that, you need you need the access modifier, you need the return type, and you need the method name, and you need parentheses. So let's say protect it. And this particular this particular method, we're gonna override a method that's already provided for us through the .NET platform. And to do that, you say protected override void on paint. And what this method here is gonna is gonna draw all of our information onto into the form. So let's do some more uh, formatting. We're gonna use the string format class, and we're also gonna create another instance of the string format class, same as we did with the timer class. So let's say. <clears throat> Gonna set all of the formatting to center the screen. So let's say let's get our data onto the form. And remember, like I said before, we're gonna use the date time class to capture the current time and the date in the year. So let's let's debug it and run it to see if, if we get any errors. First we'll build it. Okay, it's succeeded. Now let's run it. And as you can see, the title has changed. We, we have our simple clock. Then you have the date, the year, the month, and you have the time. So what we did, we used properties to uh, change the back the background color of our form. We created instances of classes to get our clock working. We also use, use other properties of the timing class, the date time, the screen format. Uh, I showed you how to call methods right here with the timer dot start. I showed you how to create methods, which we did right here. We created a method over and override a, a method that was already given to us by dot net. And Shows you how to dynamically change uh, titles of a form and the form load with, with this text problem. So, thank you for your time, and you have a good day.